Now, the official Sun Coast weather with ABC7 meteorologist John Scalzi. Uh, you just can't express in words how perfect this weather is. Everybody's saying, oh my gosh, it's so wonderful. I want to be outdoors. And that's perfectly understandable with dew points 45. Uh, it, it, it has been, you know, eight months since we've seen 45 degree dew points. Love it. Absolutely love it. Air temperature coming in at 79. Plenty of sunshine out there. Full wall to wall sunshine right now. So even as those temperatures climb up into the lower 80s with dew points of 45, I mean, you're not going to feel hot. It's going to be comfortable. And at night, the temperatures kind of fall off pretty quickly and gets to be cool and crisp at night. So beautiful sleeping weather as well. Fantastic. East wind comes in about 13. That may be something of a key player over the next several days in our sky cover, that east wind. We'll talk about that in a second. 74 degrees in Wachula, 75 in Arcadia, Mayaka at 74, Parrish at 74, 74, Bradenton and Lakewood Ranch. Northport's at 75, Punta Gorda's at 78, 74 in Venice, 73 in Inglewood. And on the key at Longboat, it is 73 degrees. So we have pretty quiet conditions across the entire peninsula right now. Titan radar struggling to find anything to lock onto, and the only thing it can lock onto is false echo because there is any, isn't anything out there. Most of the state of Florida is absolutely clear in terms of even a little bit of cloud cover. So we are looking at a lot of blue sky out there, and it's that kind of wintertime blue sky too, that nice deep blue sky. We love that. As far as cloud cover goes, they're over on the other coast, you know what? Off in Atlantic waters, there's a little bit of cloud cover there, and I think over the next several days, what we're going to see are the wind speeds start to increase. And that could take some of the cloudiness over on the other coast and kind of whisk it back in this direction. So we might see an increase in our cloud cover starting tomorrow, Saturday for sure. And also, we have a frontal boundary that's approaching. Right now, going to produce a lot of snow showers for parts of the northern tier on up through the western Great Lakes. And a line of showers begins to develop in advance of that front. Now, that line of showers is going to dissipate before it reaches us. So we don't really have to worry about that. But as that front gets closer, our winds are going to pick up. And in fact, at times, they're going to be darn right windy. I think we could see some... 20 knot winds, you know, 20, 24 mile per hour winds around our region, sustained and gusts even higher than that. That'll probably come on Saturday. The reason, that's a potent cold front that's approaching. But for today, more sunshine, lower humidity, slightly warmer temperatures. That's true today. That's true tomorrow. Probably true on Saturday as well. Now, wind direction is going to be important. For a time, it may shift a little bit to the west, then it'll shift back to the north over the weekend. We do have some red tide around, a very light red tide. It's uh, what's called, uh, at this point, the amount of toxins in the air by spotters from Moat Marine, slight meaning and there'll be an occasional cough or maybe a sneeze, but it's not a persistent kind of thing. And as long as those winds stay out of the north or northeast, you know, we're, we're going to be just fine. What we don't want to see is strong westerly winds. Gusts of wind are going to be uh, increasing. We could see some uh, perhaps 25 mile an hour gusts along the coastline as we head into Friday, Saturday night and particularly Sunday day. That's because there's some cooler weather coming. You'll see that in the extended range forecast. Today, nice day on the waters. A 10 knot wind, maybe surging a little in the afternoon, but two foot seas and a light chop with that northeasterly component. Then watch what that wind brings us on Sunday. Nighttime lows in many places will be in the 40s. We'll hover in Sarasota around the 50 mark. Daytime highs will be in the upper 60s. That sounds pretty good to me, though, Scott. 